Hi, my name is Alex Dolphin and welcome back to another episode of Ex Ante. Today we're going to discuss the case of G versus Audley. This case was heard in the Court of Chancery in England in the year of 1787. To understand this case, we need to first know what the rule against perpetuities is. The rule against perpetuities is a rule that states that no interest in property is good unless it must vest, um, if at all, not less than 21 years after the death of some life in being at the creation of the interest. So that's the rule against perpetuities. What it does is it tries to limit dead hand control. So we're trying to limit, at least the common law is, the control of people from the grave over real property. And the reason why we would do this is because we feel that if dead people have control over property in the world, um, it's not going to ultimately be the best for the economy. It's best if property can be used freely and not you know, handcuffed by dead people from the grave and in their, through their wills. So in this case, we're gonna talk about a specific will that um, does try to exercise some dead hand control. We're gonna see that it goes against the rule against perpetuities. So let's go ahead and read the will that was devised by Edward Audley. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So the will says, also my will is that 1000 pounds shall be out at an interest during the life of my wife, which interest I give her during her life. And at her death, I give that that said 1000 pounds unto my niece, Mary Hale, and the issue of her body lawfully begotten and to be begotten. Issue just means children. And in the default of such issue, I give the 1,000 pounds to be equally divided between the daughters of the then living of my kinsman, John G and his wife, Elizabeth G. So I have a chart up next to me and this chart just shows how this uh, will um, violates the rule against perpetuities. And so we're just gonna walk through the violation because I think that's the best way to understand the rule and to understand the case. Um, so to have a violation, we need to have two people have kids after the time of the will. Now this might not be logical because um, Miss G was very old at the time of, of this will and Mary Hale was quite old too, but we're not going to turn to the exact logical consequences because the law doesn't do that. They're gonna look for the most crazy scenario and we're not gonna say that a 90 year old woman can't have a baby, that's just the way the common law works. Uh, we're treating it like the Bible, like Sarah could have a child at, uh, in, in her 90s. So, so to show that this will violates the rule against perpetuities, we're gonna show that um, at first, the interest will move from Edward to Elizabeth, and at Elizabeth's death, it will move to Mary Hale. Um, at Mary Hale's death, it's gonna move to her daughter, Faith Hale. Faith Hale um, was not alive at the time of the grant. So she was not alive at the time of the grant, so her life will not um, you know, go for the, the time plus 21 years. As soon as, her, as soon as everyone who is dead at the time of the grant, we have a 21 year clock that's beginning to run. So that's what I'm trying to show in T4 and T5. Um, daughter five, she didn't exist at the time of the grant. So G daughter five didn't exist at the time of the grant. So um, we're gonna have Faith Hale. She'll, she will be the only one to survive the nasty COVID spell in the year of 1787. Uh, might not have been the COVID we know, but it was certainly uh, some form of COVID, killed a bunch of people off. Uh, Faith Hale survived, she has a present interest. Um, nevertheless, when Faith Hale dies, um, there will not have been anyone alive at the time of the grant plus 21 years. Um, and it would logically, the, the property interest would logically in the 1,000 pounds vest in G daughter five. And because it would vest in G daughter five, what we're gonna say is that's a violation of the rule against perpetuities. And that's because um, G daughter five didn't exist at the time of the grant. And at, when Faith was alive, no one else from the time of the grant was alive either. So this is an example of dead hand control that goes too far and goes against the rule against perpetuities. So in this case, we're going to strike that clause and we're just going to give um, a fee simple to Mary Hale. We're going to strike the clause that's illogical and goes against the rule against perpetuities and just give um, the fee simple to Mary Hale. And that's what the court did in this case. Um, they said that if the verbiage would have been changed in the will of Edward Audley to not encompass future daughters being born of the family G, um, but to just, uh, uh, just, just to encompass the daughters that were born at that time period, um, then this would have been valid and it wouldn't have gone against the rule against perpetuities, but because it encompassed any possible children that the G family would have had, it, it does go against the rule against perpetuities. Um, and for that reason, um, the, bill, the will is invalid. Um, 
So this chart, I hope, kind of helps illustrate it and get your mind around it. It is kind of a difficult um, violation to understand, and that's because you have to think so illogically. You have to think that a 90-year-old woman could have a baby, and we just don't think that way. Um, if you're studying the law, if you're wanting to become a lawyer, you value yourself as being a logical thinker, and to think so illogically is sometimes just, it feels wrong, it tears you apart inside. So um, to just discuss you know, some of the ex-ante implications of this, one, it's not going to allow as much dead hand control, which is good for the economy, right? We don't want dead people controlling property and hindering and putting handcuffs on property. We want, um, we want property to be freely used to economize society and cr increase wealth and profit for society, and that's the reason for the rule against perpetuities. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.